Hello Mesa Community Arts Academy students and families. My name is Lucas Creamer and I'm one of the saxophone instructors here at the Academy. Today I'd like to share some tips with you on performing and recording at home. I hope you enjoy. Let's talk about your ideal performance space. First, try to find a quiet spot in your home without any echo or reverb. Some examples of this may be a room that's carpeted or a room with heavy curtains. Please also try to minimize all of the noise around you, including fans, air conditioners, dishwashers, pets, and TVs. The goal is to get the cleanest and best sound possible. Now let's discuss light sources. Try to position yourself on camera so that any light sources in the room are in front of you. This could involve facing a window or positioning a lamp right in front of you. Any light sources from behind you will ultimately affect your visibility on camera. Let's talk about the placement of your camera. First, your camera should be placed in a landscape orientation, using either a tripod or something sturdy to keep it steady. I'm personally using a tripod, but you can also use something like an extra music stand if you have one. Position yourself in the center so that both you and your instrument are as visible as possible. You should also leave a little bit of room between the top of your head and the top of the screen. As I stated previously, your entire instrument should be in the shot. Wind and brass players may need to play at a slight angle so that their entire instrument is visible. In addition, string players may need to plan accordingly so that their entire bow makes it into the shot. Now let's talk about accompaniment tracks. If you're using a piano accompaniment for your performance, please be sure to play that accompaniment on a separate device. If you have access to a loudspeaker, that'll help the accompaniment part sound loud and clear during your performance. Before the performance, you may need to do a sound check to test the balance between your part and the accompaniment part. It may take a few times to get the right balance as you do this. Now let's talk about performance attire. We encourage you to wear something that best expresses you as a musician. However, please avoid wearing white in your performance. But no matter what you wear, please make sure to find a room in your house with a neutral background, like this light green wall behind me here. Now let's talk about the fun part, performing. First, if you are recording the performance, be sure to start the recording. As you enter, position yourself in the center of the frame. Then, take a bow and introduce yourself and your piece to the audience. After that, go ahead and start the accompaniment recording and begin your performance. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lucas Creamer, and today I will be performing Eugene Boza's aria for alto saxophone and piano. with your performance, please take another bow and remain in position for around five seconds before turning off your camera. I hope that these tips have been helpful to you. If you have any questions for us, please feel free to reach out by email at academy.gmu.edu.